Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more points, some more problems regarding the border plot. Here, the problem is the asympto asymptotic. Asymptotic means generally it is approximate. The meaning itself is the approximate and similar to the original. Border plot, phase border plot of G of S equal K by S plus 0.1, S plus 10, S plus P1 with K and P1. K is unknown and P1 is also unknown. Both positive is shown. The value of the P1 is. So, he is asking to find out the K as well as the P1. So, just he is asking to find out only the P1 value. Right. So, for that we should take, he is given phase plot. For that phase 0, minus 45, minus 35, minus 225 and for different different frequencies phase is varies like this phase is varies like this so for that purpose so i will take the open loop transfer function that is the g of s so that is the g of s and we should take the the phase of g of s value the phase of g of s value so how we will write the g of s first write down the g of s so given g of s equal to k by s plus 0.1 s plus 10 s plus p1 this is the given k value next phase so what is the phase of this value how can we find out the phase of this value the phase is angle of g of s equal to so we will write tan inverse of 0 by k so completely completely write this tan inverse of 0 by k for this place for this phase tan inverse of 0.1 by 0.1 by oh sorry omega by 0.1 not 0.1 by omega y s is j omega here s is j omega s is j omega so omega by 0.1 and this is tan inverse of omega by 10 and this is tan inverse of p by omega by p1 okay so these are tan inverse of 0 by k tan inverse of omega by 0.1 omega by 10 omega by p1 so you should take any frequency and already the phase value is given here so just substitute this so i will take this phase value this minus 135 phase value then it will be very easy at at omega equal to 1 the phase value equal to minus 135 it will have the minus 135 just substitute this phase value this is minus 135 and tan inverse of 0 by k and tan inverse of 1 by 0 0.1 next here tan inverse of 1 by 10 minus tan inverse of 1 by p1 okay so by doing the calculation we will get we will get minus 135 is equals to 135 is equal to 0 is 0 tan inverse of 1 by 0 0.1 value is uh, by, by doing the calc minus 84.28 and next tan inverse of 1 by 10 value minus 5.71 minus 5.71 next tan inverse of 1 by p1 value directly we will write tan inverse of 1 by p1 okay so by doing the calculation we will get minus 135 is equals to minus 89.99 minus tan inverse of 1 by p1 minus 1 by p1 so by doing this minus will become positive here then by doing the calculation we will get minus 45 is equal to minus tan inverse of 1 by p1 so both will be positive 
so from this tan 45 equal 1 by p1 tan 45 equal to 1 so we will get the p1 value equal to 1 so therefore by doing the calculation we will get the p1 value is the 1 p1 value is the 1 okay so this is the procedure simply procedure the simple procedure just take just write the phase if phase plot is given you can take any frequency but i will take the one because one will give the simple answers so that's why one and i will take at the one we have some frequency then i will doing calculation will get the value and the next problem next problem is the phase margin degrees of the system g of s equal 10 by s into s plus 10 is he is asking to find out the phase margin so for any system generally for any system the phase margin is like this 180 plus phase of given system g of s at gain crossover frequency frequency equal to gain crossover frequency so how we will find out the gain crossover frequency so we will find out the gain crossover frequency by taking the magnitude value is the one the magnitude value equal to one so what is the magnitude value so g of s equal g of s is this is the 10 by s into s plus 10 equal to one so by doing this we will get so this magnitude value is 10 and this is omega this is omega square and this is the omega that's why this is the omega square is the magnitude and next magnitude equal this magnitude upper omega this magnitude is omega generally what about this magnitude and this magnitude equal I will write omega square plus 10 square this is also magnitude and equal to 1 so in order to remove the root just do the squares so 10 by doing this omega square this root will be removed the remaining is omega square plus 100 equal to 1 okay so by doing the calculation 10 by omega power 4 plus 100 omega square equal to 1 so we will find out like this 10 equal to omega power 4 100 omega square so by this omega power 4 plus 100 omega square so by doing the square we will get the 10 square here don't forget this is the 100 this value is the 100 so from this from this uh, we will take omega power 4 plus 100 omega square minus 100 equals to 0 so in order doing this very difficult just assume omega square value as x so just substitute here we will get we will take x this we will take so from this omega power square omega power 4 means this is the x square plus 100x 100x minus 100 equals to 0 so by doing the solve by solving this we will get x is minus 100 plus r minus b square means 100 square minus 4 a c, c means minus 100 by 2 a 2 into 1 okay so by solving this by solving this we will have finally we will have the x value is 
माइनस फिफ्टी प्लस आर माइनस फोर्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव फोर्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव ओके सो दिस इज एक्स स्क्वेर वै दिस एक्स वैल्यू बट अबाउट ओमेगा वैल्यू ओमेगा इक्वल टू अंडर अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स रूट ऑफ एक्स फाइनली वी विल गेट माइनस सॉरी नॉट माइनस पॉइंट नाइन रेडियन पर सेकेंड ओके सो ओमेगा जैसी पॉइंट नाइन इन रेडियन सेकेंड अप्रॉक्सिमेटली वी विल टेक द वन रेडियन पर सेकेंड सो देर फोर द फेज मार्जिन इक्वल फाइनली वी विल गेट वन एटी माइनस टेन इनवर्स ऑफ वट इज द वैल्यू हियर 180 एटी माइनस टेन वर्स ऑफ ओमेगा जी सी बाय जीरोगा जी सी बाय जीरो वन थिंग सो सो वट इज द फेज वैल्यू हियर फर्स्ट दस ओमेगा जी सी बाय जीरो वाई दिस एंड मैंने टेन वर्स ऑफ ओमेगा जी सी बाय टेन For, from from where directly I am writing, since g of s equal g of s value ten by s into s plus ten, ten by s into s plus ten. Okay, yeah. So by do, from this we will write phase margin equal one eighty minus. This is the ninety, and this is the tan inverse of 1 by 10. So by solving this, finally we will get the phase margin value equal 90 minus 5.71. This is the 5.71. So phase margin value is 84.29 degrees. 29 degrees. Okay. So this is the value of the phase margin. Okay, so whenever the problem is given like this, directly you will follow the this procedure. Okay, so I hope all of you understand the session. Thank you.